Hello and welcome to part one of my ArcSoft Showbiz video editing tutorials. It's going to be um, a four part series. It's going to cover uh, basically a tour of the interface. Then in part two we're going to uh, learn how to create albums and add our files and prepare the workspace for the work. And then in three we're actually going to get down to the editing. And then in part four we're going to go through the rendering and sharing. I'm doing it this way so uh, you know you could bookmark certain parts that you need and that way you don't have to watch through 30 or 40 minutes just to get to that one little spot of information that you really need to get back to so um, let's go ahead and jump right into it um, I'm not going to show you the capture tab because we went through the capture tab in the uh, HDR PB, HD PBR2 settings tutorial so we're going to uh, start over here with edit and then right here you've got your little media tab with your media tab that's where you're going to organize all of your um, different files and content for your movies there's uh, some default stuff in here like audio it's this little afraid wave wave file which is just an audio file and there's different colored backgrounds that you can add to uh, your video if you like then um, place for your pictures you know balloons whatever then uh, video it comes with its um, countdown 8 to 0 and then you know, use it for whatever you want. But um, in part two, we're going to get into how to really make these albums useful for yourself. Um, moving right along, we've got our transitions here. And, um, you know, you can just hover over them and see what it does. Click on it. It's going to show you a little bit of what it does. And that really dep depends on the time you put into the transition. But um, I'm sure if you go through all of these, you'll find the ones that you're uh, absolutely looking for to uh, make your projects great over here in the effects um, it really looks to me like these would be best suited on still images but you can uh, certainly put them on your video if you like maybe certain clips could you know be useful with a sepia tone maybe if you want to turn something upside down I mean I guess you could and it looks like here we've got a, a mirror then we've got um, a mirrored frame a split um, glowing edges this is what that would be called in Photoshop or to what it reminds me of. Anyway, we're going to move right along to um, the different text. Now with the text, you can't create your own text. It's pretty much um, WYSIWYG here. What you see is what you get. You know, you can't put in your own bevels, strokes, and bosses, drop shadows, glows, anything. I mean, you know, what you've got here is what you've got to work with. So um, get to know them and get to love them because that's what you got. So then we're going to move over to uh, the Produce tab which we are going to go into a lot more detail in four in uh, part four so I'm just going to skim right through this um, the create ABC HD that's really for creating blu-rays and uh, DVDs that you could put in your blu-ray or DVD player if you want to take it to your TV or anything else um, over here in create file this is where you're going to render out your project or uh, produce your movie there's a few different um, settings in there and I'll go through you know best formats and everything else and which ones work for what and what not and um, over here we've got upload to YouTube which is uh, really handy so um, let's go ahead and set this up because it's really quick and easy and then at the end of your project if you're going to YouTube with it it really becomes a one click and there it's on YouTube so um, we'll go over here to options and then uh, first thing you want to do is click on YouTube account settings you go in there you put in your username your password and um, save it that's it but over here in the preferences we'll go ahead and set this up change your aspect ratio to 16:9, which is a uh, widescreen format then um, I think yeah I'm pretty sure the duration settings come in for a uh, 3 3 and 5 go ahead and change those to 5 just uh, so it'll give you a little bit more room and then um, change your project folder to uh, whatever works for you. Uh, I'm pretty sure it came in saving directly on my C drive, and I use a solid state drive, which is um, pretty small, so I don't want to crowd it up with a bunch of stuff that I really could do without. And I've got plenty of other space on other drives where I can put this stuff, so that's what I do. And then we're going to go over here to others, and um, you know, do the same thing here. You know, the more work you do now getting yourself organized the less headache you're going to have later looking for your stuff so uh, change your import and your temporary that's another big one especially you have limited space on your uh, 
on your C drive, your operating system drive, you definitely want to get those temp files out there because it will bloat that hard drive. And then with your export, you know, change that to another place where you're pretty sure you're going to be able to find your stuff when you're actually done with it. But here's the part to get back to YouTube. When you upload to YouTube, you want to make sure that this is set to 1280 by 720 HD because that is not the default. I'm pretty sure this was the default. And um, first time I used the software, it got me, and I wasn't happy because I'd already got, gotten, you know, a few views and a few likes and um, all of that. And I was just like, nope, that's not what I'm going to, no, that's not why I bought the PBR2. So I'm going HD. So put it on this. And now another thing I want to uh, bring to your attention is um, you record in 1080p, but the only thing this will let you do is upload in um, 720p. So let's just go ahead and uh, get that out there before I get any comments saying, well, why can't I go 1080p? Well, you can, but you have to go create file, and then there again, we're going to do that in the rendering and sharing. So um, that's almost it for this part of the tutorial, but we'll just go through this real quick. You've got the um, little, I think the hover over says e-commerce or some nonsense like that. Anyway, this is your little information center. Shows you if there's any patches available. No data available at this time. Let you know if there's an upgrade. No data available at this time. And this is on Wednesday, October 3rd, 2012. Any special downloads? No data available. Any promotions? Nope, no promotions either. I'm not going to click on the registration tab. Um, but you can go ahead and click on registration tab, register your software, give them a real email address. Um, so far I haven't gotten any spam from them, but hopefully one day I'll get some sort of a email saying, hey, we've updated our software. Not sure if I'll ever get it, but I can hope, can't I? And I'll go ahead and close that out. I'm going to go back over here to the edit tab, go back to my little media tab, and I'm going to go ahead and set this up on new album and that is where we will pick up i really appreciate y'all taking the seven minutes to uh watch this tutorial i hope this is going to help guide you through the um showbiz software just a little bit more and if you'll uh join me in just a little bit we'll get started creating albums and organizing our project thanks for watching